Hello and welcome to another episode. There's yet another EV6 ICCU recall coming out. The ICCU stands for Integrated Charging Control Unit. It's the unit that sits under the back seat of an EV6 or an Ionic 5 or a Genesis GV60 and it provides the charging power for the DC circuitry so it charges the 12 volt battery and it provides the functionality of vehicle to load. Uh, also, when that goes, it can stop your AC charging, so it provides the AC charging system. And when it does go, a lot of people can still DC charge. Anyway, that's just for information. Uh, the first I saw of this was on uh, Technically Jeff's YouTube uh, notes this morning. And it, eventually, a TSB has come out on Kia EV forums. Thanks to Alan for posting that, as ever. So now we've got access to what it's actually about. And it seems to be just a revised version of what's happened before with the previous ICCU recall. So um, this is SC327 and this bulletin SC327 supersedes the previously released campaign SC302. SC302 is the one we got in Europe, maybe in the summer, maybe some people are still getting it. Basically, this bulletin provides information to inspect and, if necessary, replace integrated charging control unit ICCU fused on certain 2022-2024 model year EV6 and EV6 GTs, produced between November 17, 21 through to July 22, 2024. The bulletin also provides information to update the ICCU software. The ICCU may become damaged over time from transient, high voltage and thermal cycling, resulting in a DTC P1A 9096 which will be stored. A damaged ICCU may not be able to charge the 12 volt battery, which can discharge gradually whilst driving with progressive reductions in motive power. If the driver ignores the warnings associated with the discharging battery condition and continues to operate the vehicle in a reduced power mode, the vehicle may eventually experience a complete loss of motive power, increasing the risk of a crash. Follow the procedure outlined in this publication of inspect, if necessary, replace ICCU and ICCU fuse and update the ICCU software on the affected vehicles before conducting the procedure. Before conducting the procedure, verify the vehicles included in the list of VINs. Well, they all are, so. Right, so as I say, it's a virtual repeat. Um, going through the details. On the TSB, it shows an, a new event for, for, of 786.CV, CV or EGT, ICCU, LDC, which is a low voltage DC charging circuit that charges to our battery. FET is field, field effect transistor protection logic improvement second. So it's an update to that. Now, the rate of failures has definitely gone down since they put the last update in, but it's been evident for a while that the failures are still happening after the last update. Now, this updates uh, the previous version software on the ICCU. From ECV 1E3 IDS 13R000, in other words, version 13, to ECV 1E3 IDS 14R000, so version 13 to 14. For the rest of the world, the recall number will be probably 241195, based on the Labour Operations Code at the back of this TSB. Well, let's hope it actually fixes it permanently this time and we don't get any more, but we shall see. Thank you for watching.